Aloha everybody, this is Gigi from Kauai Community College. This is a video on um, optimization problems and particularly this is number three in your note handout if you were in my class. Okay, it said that you have 45 square meters of material. That means that the area of this right here and material to make a box. And what kind of box? A box with a square base so that the base is x by x and the height is some height we don't know so let's call that y right so the area in this case and in this case we should say the surface area the surface area has to be 45 square meters okay and what do we want to do we want to maximize we want to maximize the volume, okay? And so let's take a look. The volume is area of the base shape, which would be your square, multiplied by how tall, so it would be x squared times y, right? But the, sur the surface area is going to be the area of all surfaces, so you'll have the bottom shape, which is uh, x by x, and the area of that would be x squared plus uh, four side walls, and each one of them has a dimension of x by y. That would be these guys right here, x by y. So then you have four xy plus x squared being the surface area. Okay, so. In order to write the volume as a function in terms of x, uh, we want, we are interested in v of x. So with that, we would say, hey, look at that here. We would have y is equal to um, 45 minus x squared all divided by 4x. And we would put that right in here. So um, that would give us, that would give us x squared multiplied by 45 minus x squared over 4x, x squared divided by x. And when we distribute this out, we will have 45 um, over 4x minus x to the third over 4. Okay. Then we would say the derivative um, of the volume is going to be 45 over 4 minus 3 quarter x squared. Okay. Now, to find the critical point, we would say set that equal to 0. And when we do set that equal to 0, uh, we will have... 45 is equal to 3x squared. Um, x squared is equal to 15. So x is equal to plus or minus square root of 15. But we are only going to take the square root of 15 because x is the dimension of the base. So x has to be positive, right? So we're only going to take this critical values here. Okay, now... Um, to confirm that that is, to confirm that that is um, the uh, maximum or that will give you the, the maximum, we would go ahead and take the second derivative. Okay, so then the second derivative of x is a derivative of a constant is zero. Um, bring the two down, you would uh, divide that to the 4, so we would have 3 over 2, x to the 3rd, the negative is still there. Okay, now knowing that x is a positive number, positive number to the 3rd po power is positive, multiply by negative 3 half, that is going to be less than 0. Always, always. So this function is always concaving down, 
And when a function is always concaving down, we would have a maximum of wherever the critical point is, and that would be when x is square root of 15. Okay, so the square root of 15. Okay, now, the question didn't give you the answer, but assuming that we would want the dimension of that box, right? So that means to go find x and y. So when x is square root of 15, y is y is 45 minus square root of 15 squared, which is 15 divided by 4 times square root of 15. That would be 30 over 4 square root 15. That is 15 over 2. Rationalize, you will have 15 square root of 15 over 30. 15, cancel with that, so you will have square root of 15 over 2. So, x would be 5 square root of 15, and y would be square root of 15 over 2. So, in this case, um, y would be half the, half the size of x in order for this box to have um, the maximum volume. Okay, so that's y, and this is x.